Welcome to the April edition of Pro Libertad TV. Today, you'll be watching Pro Libertad's statement for the call to action celebration of Filiberto's 87th birthday. We'll be talking about his life and legacy. Enjoy. Filiberto vive, la lucha sigue. Filiberto vive, la lucha sigue. Happy birthday to our Comandante Filiberto Ojeda Rios on what would have been his 87th birthday. My name is Benjamin Ramos. I'm a part of the Pro Libertad Freedom Campaign. And on behalf of our campaign, I want to thank Call to Action for inviting us to speak on today's incredible program, a full day of Facebook Lives, of, of pre-recorded poetry, and just extraordinary content that is, is being provided today. I want to start off with some history. On Friday, September 23rd, 2005, our Comandante Filiberto Ojeda Rios was humiliated, degraded, disrespected, and assassinated by the U.S. government. I know that the word assassination is harsh and it's triggering and violent. And violence can be very off-putting, but it's important that we can contextualize violence and that we talk about it. It's, it's a part of our history. It's a part of our national liberation. And actually, I want to to quote our compañero Rev on uh, Filiberto de Rios on what revolutionary violence is and what reactionary violence is. So I'm gonna read a quick little uh, paragraph of something that our compañero Filiberto wrote. Revolutionary violence differs greatly from reactionary violence. Revolutionary violence is the defender of social justice, of liberty, of equality, and the rights of nations, as well as the legitimate rights and necessities of humanity. Reactionary violence is the practical expression of greed, of robbery, of banditry, and of oppression. If reactionary violence did not exist, revolutionary violence would exist much less because it is precisely the defensive expression to eliminate the criminality represented in reactionary violence, the latter being a crime against humanity. Revolutionary violence, on the other hand, is a right of those colonized and oppressed people to their own self-defense to guarantee their survival and national salvation. The Puerto Rican nation, the Puerto Rican diaspora, the Puerto Rican people have been pushing against reactionary violence for a very long time. Reactionary violence led to the colonization of Puerto Rico. Reactionary violence led to the oppression, suppression, and repression of the Puerto Rican independence movement. Reactionary violence led to the arrest of Los Macheteros and the FALN in the 1980s. We have always pushed against reactionary violence. We have always pushed against U.S. colonialism and imperialism, and we have won our own victories. We stopped the most powerful navy in the world from bombing Culebra and Vieques. We were able to stop privatization and U.S.-based union colonialism in Puerto Rico. We were able to free Los Macheteros and the FALN. And that last one was one that many people thought we would never accomplish, yet we did. And we did so because we educated, we organized, and we mobilized within our communities, within our nation, within our diaspora. That is the true legacy of our compañero, el comandante Filiberto Ojeda Rios, because he truly believed in educating, in organizing, creating institutions, reaching out to our allies, and moving forward with campaigns, and going out there and organizing. That That's his true legacy to us. That is what he really leaves us. When he does all this incredible writing, and he does all of this amazing work, when he did all of that, it was because he knew that we had the power to make freedom happen because we do. It's well within us to do this. Filiberto did not want us to look at him as an iconic figure. He didn't want us to look at him as some untouchable, unapproachable leader. He wanted us to look at him and see our own reflection because everything that Filiberto is and was is the same thing that we are. We are Filiberto. Todos nosotros somos macheteros, todos somos Filiberto. We are Filiberto. We have the power to do what he did. 
And we have done it in the past and we've had sparks of recognizing our power. Now is the time to bring all those sparks together and to really form the movement we need to free our political prisoners, to free our nation, and to be supportive of other revolutionary movements because Filiberto was an internationalist and he wanted us to think in that internationalist perspective as well. And that's what I wanna leave everyone with. Um, you have the power to educate, to organize, and to mobilize. So stay in contact with us in Call to Action, in Pro Libertad. We are all macheteros. Todos somos macheteros, macheteras, macheterics. Todos somos Filiberto. We are all Filiberto. Que viva Puerto Rico Libre. Free Puerto Rico. Free all U.S. held political prisoners. Filiberto vive. La lucha sigue. Todos somos Filiberto. Gracias.